Hi ladies! So, um, I've been recording a bunch of videos. Um, I'm just very inspired. I have a list of topics I had been saving. And um, I'm right now here at Houston. And it's my first solo trip since I got engaged. And I was very curious about how my fiance was going to take it. And it turns out um, I can feel him being distant uh, within the WhatsApp messages. I came here to Houston for about four days. Um, I attended the Universe Guru's January intensive and it was completely fabulous. Um, but I was very curious about how my fiance was going to behave. Um, I, I used to travel, solo travel a lot um since i was in university uh well prior to starting i did a lot of backpacking through europe um, i have lived in several countries um, i did a semester abroad in paris a semester abroad in shanghai and um in summers i used to travel um, a lot i would just get a one-way ticket and just go and visit friends. It, it was amazing. And at, at prior times when I had a boyfriend, it was always a, a touchy subject, like why are you traveling alone and blah, blah, blah. But I was like, mm -hmm, because I'm young and I and, and my dad wants to pay for my trip, so I might as well go. So anyways, uh, this was all, always a touchy subject and it was one of the reasons why I did not enjoy having a boyfriend at the time because it was like a topic of discussion like why are you leaving blah 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 and I was like well I, I hate well I it's not that I hate but it's probably why it was easier for me to start rotational dating because I was like well who are you to to tell me what to do like we are not even married like in my head it was like you're just my boyfriend so um i would still go out on my trips and sometimes it would meant uh, we were broken up or it was a touchy subject anyways i learned how to navigate that uh, sometimes i just cut them off sometimes that we would put up with each other but it was a touchy subject especially when you were traveling three months at a time or whatever uh, even if we were meeting in the middle anyways so I was curious about how my fiance was going to take it um, I think we have to be very mindful that the masculine men still want to have us uh, in their proximity to protect us so I don't think it comes from a bad place sometimes them not wanting you to travel alone um not even jealousy not even not being trusting of you but like thinking from a masculine man's point of view like of course they trust you of course they know you are capable of navigating especially if you have this background like if you have lived abroad if you have lived alone but men are still not going to love the idea of you going alone and when i booked this intensive i was like i wonder how he is going to react because um i do not have a problem with him traveling alone like if he 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 goes with his friends uh, on a yearly nfl trip or something like i don't mind like i've heard like oh the wives don't like it when they go and but they're decent men. They're, they're going on a field trip to watch an NFL game. Like, let them be. Like, they just like a city and they go, right? So, and I, I am not a woman that has a problem with that. Um, I have been cultivating my confidence so much that I wouldn't be bothered when a man wanted to go, oh, I wouldn't go. And they get, like, very... They, they put a lot of attention to you when they see like, oh yeah, whatever, go. Instead of you like, oh, wh where are you going? Text me, where you're like, 
trust me, they're going to be texting you if you are not like paying attention to them, even if they are the ones going on the trip. So, anyways, um, this is day two of my trip here, and I started to notice a slight shift. Um, the messages he sent me, and I was like, "Oh, what are? You, what did you do to it? Oh, well, I went to this intensive. Like, uh, of course." Every time I I tell that uh, or I tell my father like, what is the intensive about? I like uh, last time I told him it was like about human design. This time I told him oh it's like a vet energy and it's the truth. But it's like oh it's feminine energy and how we change the world. Um, I I don't really do that. Um, when I came through customs when I arrived to the U.S. Um, the official was like, "And what are you here for?" I was like, "Oh, um, a workshop." He was like, "And do you have anything with you for the workshop?" I was like, "No, I just made lamb." And he was like, "What is the workshop about?" He was like, "Oh, you know, feminine energy." <laughs> he he just laughed. He was so smitten. Uh, but anyways, um, he, my fiance didn't ask too many questions about what was the intensive about. Um, whenever he asked, "What are you up to?" I always reply like. Oh, you know, evil stuff. So he knows that evil stuff is like synonym for my YouTube channel. You know, he found my YouTube channel before we were engaged. It was a whole thing. You can watch the video. But um, he he was of course he is curious. Like, oh, I'm here with the girls. What girls? All oh, the ones I met on the previous intensive. I was like, okay. But he before. I came here to Houston. He was like, "Oh, I hope I know it's cold, and I hope you are alone." And like, he, you could tell he was like iffy about it. And I don't think it comes from a bad place, but don't double down when a man is pulling not pulling back, but he or even he's being suspicious. Like, do continue being as normal, even if he's like very dry with his messages because uh for example um, yesterday we did talk on the phone today we didn't so uh like as soon as i arrived he was like oh i'm i'm at the apartment do you want to uh, facetime and i was like oh sure like i am here in my hotel room blah 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 um so i don't want to say mirror his behavior if he's acting weird if you're doing something he doesn't want you to do I think you should act normal and kind of dismiss um, him being weird. So um, I've dealt with this before, so I, I will just continue like replying like normal. And that's a good way to go. And I'm not saying that when I go back, he's not going to feel some kind of way about it, but um, you have to set your standards from the start, ladies, uh, especially if you're going to marry someone. They have to know that there are things you like to do on your own. Um, if you are uh, familiar with human design, for example, um, depending on your type of design, you need different levels of energy from other people to feel fulfilled and there's this thing called uh, a single definition this means that you don't really need that much energy from other people it means that you can be a loner and you're totally fine like you don't need other people to connect your energy within you and there are other people that need uh, maybe two sources of energy to connect with their own energy is like double split, triple split. It's called like that in human design. It's very interesting to know your chart actually. If you if you are interested in a reading, I still have slots. You can go to the description box down below. That's a whole other subject. Anyways, I am a single definition, so I can be perfectly alone for a whole trip, and I'm happy. I'm in paradise. It doesn't mean I don't like to socialize and go around and mingle but um but i don't need that much but my fiance he does have like um like more he needs more sources of energy to connect so that's why especially if a man like that is in a relationship with you he's going to need 
or feel the need to be with you more rather than you with him so we're touching a lot of subjects as usually however if your man is not exactly on board with what you're doing or you're traveling alone the key to keeping the relationship sane is for you to act normal if he throws a tantrum you have to still hold your energy and hold yourself and just because he throws a tantrum it doesn't mean that you're not going to keep traveling and doing the solo trips like i'm i've been thinking a lot of how i want my married life to be and i do need like those spaces in the year where i need to take a solo trip and i feel like this intensives or workshops are the best way for me to disconnect it's a feminine affair i get to meet my friends uh i get to new, meet, meet new girls and either after this events we go for dinner it, it's like it's like the healing of the sister would you know so and i need that and i don't uh, um i don't um uh, how do you say it? I don't mind going alone to somewhere and then meeting like new girls. So yes, ladies, um, there was a lady today that was telling the rest of the group how her husband was not supportive of her leaving and basically threw a tantrum. And I, and right now I can totally relate. It's probably at a different level, but men, will throw tantrums because they want to be with you, okay? Like, your energy is addict, addicting, addictive? Yeah, addictive. And for some, you leaving is like too much. It's like, maybe if I throw a tantrum, she won't leave me again. But you have to set the standard and educate them so they get used to you leaving. Like, if they throw a tantrum and you come back and they're still throwing a tantrum, it's fine, you're just not going to have fun together but just you still ha uh, get to have fun by yourself so yeah those are things happening right now and if this happens to you just stay calm um it just popped up because it happened in the bin you know everything and yes ladies um you know uh, if you haven't grabbed it yet i have this booklet where i put together the profile that got me the dates in the ring and for months and it's completely for free. It's a booklet. You can download it in the description below. Uh, you will get it in your email. And um, yeah, if you need any coaching sessions, I do still have available like singles. This will change this year. So if you have been meaning to work with me, today is a great time to book it. So yes, ladies, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.